I'm Mike Callagher with Spec Rescue International. Today on the Spec Show, I'm going to talk about doing a vertical breach while on rope. Okay, as you can see here, we have a wall set up and I came over on rope. What I'm doing now is, one thing we got to make sure that we have though, is safety equipment. Proper safety equipment is going to obviously include your harness, rope, and then a backup line. As you can see, I don't have this backup line on my chest harness. This is going to be a little bit hard to work, so I've chosen to go into the dorsal uh, attachment in the back. Also want to have proper eye protection, helmet, chin strap, ear protection, and some sort of respiratory protection when you're drilling concrete. You don't want all that dust to get in your lung. So when I start drilling, I'm going to put this APR on. Now that we've covered the safety equipment, let's talk about the actual tool that we're going to use to do this operation. Right now, what I have here is a rotary hammer. And I have a drill bit in it right now, so I'm planning on doing some stitch drilling on this wall. One thing I've rigged up here on this is some sort of device to hold the tool. So I'm not holding all that weight the whole time. That's just added weight that I'm going to have to, to have on my system. So what I've done is I've taken a separate line here. I put an ascender on here so I can adjust it. You can use anything, a Prusik or whatever sort of rope grab you want on here. We have an old ascender with a carabiner. The other thing we've done is we've made these attachments to go on our rotary hammers. Makes it very nice to do this operation. Also run the cord down here kind of tied it up out of the way so it's so it's not in the way. One thing you want to watch out for is when you're on rope and you're drilling you don't want to get the bit close to the rope. Kind of makes sense. Another concern is the bits get really hot. With nylon rope or polyester rope you get something hot and it comes out and it strikes the rope it could burn through it. Kind of a slim chance but it's one of those things. The other thing you don't want to touch the bit either. They get really hot hitting concrete. The other thing I want to talk about is stance on the wall, okay? It's a little bit different than normal is you're gonna, if you were doing a rescue, you would repel down. You always want to have a, a wide stance, typical with any rescue. Same thing with here. I want to use my leg, legs as shock absorbers to be able to control myself. When I start drilling, though, the drill is gonna to want to drive me back. So what I'm going to do to counteract that is I'm going to use my weight and that pendulum effect to drive the bit in. So all I'm going to do is just use my force and my weight as I start drilling, I'll just sink my knees down. Okay? So I'll start up high, when I put the bit in, I'll just let my legs go down and the bit will slide right in. Another thing that I found out with doing this is you want to work from the top down. As simple as it sounds, sometimes we'll start working up high and then we try to move up and then we actually have that tool above our arms. It's usually actually easier to kind of work down and then just kind of start from the top and then work down. As you can imagine, if you're sitting here doing a rescue, you're kind of going to be in a hurry. You make that rescue, you get down. Sitting in the harness for five to ten minutes gets fairly uncomfortable as you can see. It's starting to kind of wear on me in the hips. One of the other things you could do is just maybe the harness down a little bit more down on your rear and get a little more comfortable. You want to get it where you're going to be sitting in it a while. I would recommend maybe a bosun's chair. If you're going to be doing some hammer drilling on the side of a wall, a bosun's chair would make life a lot easier. The last thing I want to leave you with is it's hard to talk when you have ear pro in and you're drilling and you try to communicate with somebody that's actually lowering you down. You could repel down. We found it easier just to have somebody lower you down. Uh, if you're using some sort of descent control device, it gets a little awkward in here as you're trying to drill. And if you're not in the right spot, they, maybe they can raise you back up a little bit more. So it's a little bit easier. That was just a few tips that uh, I thought I'd bring you today. I'm sure there's many more out there. For the Spec Show, I'm Mike Callagher.